I'm gonna be the priest, you can be the preacher. I'm gonna be the He-Man, you can be the Shira. I'm gonna be the Grim, you can be the Reaper. Ah! Can we pretend that airplanes and night skies are like shooting stars? We can really need a wish right now when my goons come through and start shooting stars. You know I'm all about shoes and cars. I'm kinda drunk off booze Bacardi. I told baby when I get my new advance, I'ma blow the mother effer on a blue Bugatti. You know I graduated summa cum laude. That's why you're thinking I'm Illuminati. Well, matter of fact, let's kiss and make up. I'll help you escape on my blue Ducati. Hallelujah! Good morning. Got my eggs, Portuguese sausage, and toast going. And now breakfast time. Hey, what is up? As mentioned yesterday, I'm gonna do a little bit more research and visit some aquarium stores because I want to get a saltwater micro reef tank. That would be so cool. Of course, it's a really, 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 really long and arduous process to get there. You can't just buy the aquarium and then just put the fish inside. There's like a lot of things you need to do. It takes like about four weeks to prep the tank and everything like that. Here it is. I'm gonna put it right over here on top of here. It's like the perfect spot I was reading because it's away from direct sunlight and there's no vents over here. Only problem is there's no electrical outlet here. Uh, I have to like buy cords and put it underneath and maybe buy like a floor rug or something because the only plug is right there. I had a lot of dreams about fish, so, and I woke up early today. I have a lot of time to do stuff today, I'm kinda happy. First stop is Petco, yeah! To have wigs for dogs, that's ridiculous. Batman costume for a dog? These, these are so ridiculous. Look at the snake. Sayaseth. They have a full Finding Nemo section of junk. <laughs> and a Marvel section. Oh, Avengers. These are just sad. They all look like they're dead. Look, he's 50% off. Bravo. <laughs> I think they only have freshwater fish here. Hello, dog. Hello. That dog wears the cone of shame. Off to the next aquarium shop. I think that that Petco was pretty sparse and stuff. Usually, Petco usually has a lot more than that. You'll never need to, cause I will be your number one. Them other chicks are superficial, but I know you know I'm the one. That's why I'm all into you. Neptune Aquatics. Look at this. Look how expensive this is. Look at all these. This is a bio cube. Yeah, see, you can see this one. We did a refugium in here. Guess what? I just got my fish tank. They helped me out. It was pretty cool. They showed me how to do everything. So it takes a while though. To, I can't get any fish for like a month. So I have to set it up and start letting the bacteria start growing in the tank. <laughs> and you know what costs the most money? The rocks. My gosh. It's because they go by the pound and I, I totally forgot that rocks weigh so much. $8 per pound for a rock, which is a lot because I mean, that doesn't sound that bad, but then when you think about it, how much do rocks weigh? A lot. And then and on top of that, you need the rocks so that they, um, they actually help filter the tank and everything like that. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of research on saltwater aquariums, and yet I'm just still like, wow, it's so hard to like start off. You have to know so much, and I guess the only way you can do it is just by um, having someone help you out. So I'm so glad I went to that place because if I went to Petco, no one would have helped me out. <laughs> you need to go to one of these specialist places. I just went on Yelp. That's how I found this place. There it is. This is what it's supposed to look like in the end. <laughs> I got my seawater there and I got all the rocks and equipment right there. I guess I gotta set it up and wait one month. Go back to the store and make periodic checks with my water, bring my water in so I can see if it's not an inhospitable environment. I need it to become an in a, a hospitable environment. A, ho a hospital environment. <laughs> oh, I need to take a break from all of this aquarium stuff. 
I'm gonna go to the gym and then continue working on the aquarium. Oh, I'm so tired. Sorry I didn't really vlog at the gym today. It's like, ugh, it was so crowded, so I couldn't. And now I'm off to Target again to get all that stuff for the fish tank and also my roommate just stopped by. He's moving in today. Yay! So uh, I'm helping him out by grabbing some stuff for him too. Back at Target. It's like I live here. Seriously. Carpet section. Which one should I get? Hmm. It's too hard for me to choose. I think I'm going to choose either this one or this one here. But I can't really tell because it's hard, so I think I'm just going to get both and return one because Target's awesome. Look at this tape. Justin Bieber duct tape. Oh my gosh. Super Mario Brothers duct tape. Oh my god, I want this. <laughs> yes, this is the best stuff ever. Buying a ton of these. Ah, yes. Power strips are so confusing because look, it takes a three prong, but you can't plug them into the extensions because extensions only take two prongs. So you have to buy an adapter. You gotta buy that adapter that I had. Are you serious? Target, these are the bu buckets that you guys carry. No heavy duty ones. I'm in World's Market. It's like the weirdest store. Look, they sell furniture and they sell, and they sell wine. It's the weirdest combination of stuff. <laughs> I guess the best thing to do is just buy a lot of different ones, try it out, and return all the rest. See if this one's any good. Uh, today was such a busy day, driving all around the place. My gosh. Gonna get home and set up the tank and introduce you to my roommate now. So there's the mat. Here it is. They gave me a crate to put inside, but the crate's way too big. I have to saw it. Oh no, it still doesn't fit. Now let's see. No, it still doesn't fit. Back to more sawing. Last time. It better fit this time. Come on. Oh, thank God. Yes. Step one is complete. Now I got my live rock and some cycle to make them live. <sighs> Bam! The rock's in there. I think it's pretty cool. Look, I can end up adding some sea anemone right over here. And I, I like leave, I left extra empty areas so I can add stuff. I stuck all my rocks in there. All the live coral. I think it's time for the sand. This is such a messy process. All the sand. I had to get live sand. It has like live bacteria inside. Okay, the next thing I have to do now is pour the seawater that I bought over here onto the rock so it gets all the sand off. Ah, pour in the water, the seawater. Ah, oh my gosh, it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> You're supposed to pour it slowly and apparently I didn't because look how murky the water got because of the sand. So they say that saltwater fish tanks are for hobbyists. I think that's just like a clever way of saying it. it's because it's a lot of money and a lot of work. <laughs> so only people who really love it would appreciate this. You know what, it's actually kind of fun though, I'd have to say. While I wait for my tank to settle, I guess I should start on dinner since it's already 9 o'clock. And I think I want to save some money since I've been spending so much money today. So I think I'm going to do whatever I have. So this is what I have. Eggs, rice, hot stickers, and broccoli. Look at that broccoli. I caught up so much. I don't know. I need to eat it all up because it's going to go bad soon. Hot stickers and broccoli. Here's my dinner. Chicken and pork pot stickers, broccoli, broccoli, eggs for extra protein, and rice. Yeah. So while I eat dinner, gonna watch my next Netflix film which is The Pirates. That's that claymation one. Hey, so just finished watching The Pirates, A Band of Misfits. I'm sorry, I didn't care for it too much. I love claymation a lot. I really like that studio that did Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run, but I felt like this one just, the story was just all over the place. And I don't feel like kids would really 
enjoy it too much. My final rating for The Pirates is one and a half stars out of four. I'm sorry. But check out something better like Coraline or Fantastic Mr. Fox or, of course, Wallace and Gromit. Hey, so I wanted to introduce you guys to my new roommate, Aaron. Here he is. Hey, guys. Hey, look at his room. <laughs> He's moving in right now. Both go to the same gym, so we'll be in more videos soon. Nice. Yeah. Check it out. It's my tank here. I have to wait for all the the murkiness to go away. It's cycling the water right now. But I added an extra jet there, so look, it's causing like a current. You can see that. You can change the lights so it emulates like certain times of the day. Let me change it. Look at that. Awesome. And look, this is a rug we decided to go with that hides the, that will hide the cord. It'll be kind of cool to be able to keep a daily vlog on my aquarium and how, how I do because I've never had a saltwater aquarium before. I've had a freshwater aquarium um, when I was really, really, really young. I went with my mom when I was really young and we bought five beta fish, you know, those tiny, tiny ones and they actually lasted a really, really, really long time. One of them actually lasted seven years, and it grew from like that small to like that big of a fish, and it survived, that one was the one that survived the longest, and his name was Daphne. I named it after the um, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> anyway, cool. So definitely more great things coming at you tomorrow. I'll see you then, goodbye. Now I'm off to play some tennis with my awesome and erotic shoes. Yeah! Those kids are gonna show us off. There's Chris again. Let's see how good we are. <sighs> There's so much sweat in my eyes. Every single time, it hurts so bad. Do I, do I need one of those things that go across? Headbands. Just keep your eyes closed. Yeah, that'll work. 